30 years ago, we bought albums and CDs that had all of our music in one place prepackaged. Stable storage, pretty secure. Now we go to iTunes, we buy what we want. We can even cut up what we buy and make different formations of it. I envision health data is going to go that way. We are going to become increasingly reliant on data, but we're going to be able to do very different things with it. So we'll be able to move away from standard conventions, like if you have these two symptoms, you must have this d d disease, to thinking about here's the, the panorama that we see of your life right now. Here's how to move you to the next step of wellness. And we move away from the constraints that diagnosis bring us or the limitations of framing a person by a label. I go back to Virginia Henderson, who's a great leader in nursing, great, great thinker about nursing and nursing therapeutics. And she said, nursing does for patients what they could or would do for themselves if they had the will, the ability, or the skill. We're providing the skill. We're providing a technological support for action to help people do what they would do for themselves. But adding to it the motivation, the monitoring, the mentoring that's needed to help people know what to expect, know how to manage it, and know how to go forward. The, there's two other things that make this uniquely nursing, and, and to me, reason why it could not have come from almost any of the other health disciplines. The first one is that there is a recognition of the totality of the self, so that an individual is, a first of all, a person who's in a social system, and the person defines that. So in the totality of the self, our interventions, our information flows, our monitoring has to be about the totality of the self, not a portion of the self. The second thing is the active engagement with the other. Nursing has gotten a bad rep for having just got awful boring theories about what is nursing and why is nursing do these things. But if you look through each of them, what you find is people are in systems, they interact, they can do for themselves, but sometimes they need us to help them for whatever reason, monitor, supply a physical strength that they don't have. All of that is the core of what nursing is. All of that is built into project health design. My master's degree is in psychiatric nursing. And I worked for the first couple of years of my psychiatric nursing life uh, at a hospital in Philadelphia called Friends Hospital. Friends Hospital is a Quaker hospital. And it's built on a Quaker tradition that says there is a bit of God in each person. That's why they don't have Quaker ministers. We have, there's a self-arising of, con, of con, comments at a Quaker meeting. But if you take that idea and apply it clinically, what it means is no matter how demoralized, disturbed, depressed, or disabled the individual is, there is a piece of health in them. And it is our responsibility to find that, to nurture that, and to grow that piece of health. And that is really what drove Project Health Design to be user-centered, patient-supporting, information tools that make life work.